Almost everything we see in practice is an interaction between genetics and the environment. There's no point in even having a, an argument about that. It's not to be debated. Both things can be true, where there's a genetic load and an environmental load. And sometimes the genetic load is more highly represented in any individual diagnostic uh, situation or case. And sometimes the environment is predominant. And that environment includes toxin exposures, diet factors, the influence of the microbiome and what it's producing or not producing. It includes things beyond that environmentally, but that's what we tend to focus on in functional medicine. Not negating the genetic aspect, but recognizing that I'm not altering the DNA blueprint. Not the human DNA blueprint, at least. Not at this stage of where we're at in innovative medicine. It's also important to note that most of the DNA in the human body is bacterial. And that is more modifiable depending on what the makeup of the microbiome is. Not just in the gut, but also in other tissues like the skin, um, in the oral cavity. And so these perspectives are important. We look for as many